hello guys i hope you are doing good welcome to this new video in this video we will solve one interesting problem where we are given a circular object and we have to remove the circle so what do we mean by circular object consider this as a circular link list so there is no end or there is no beginning to the object basically we will be giving one point and from that point we will detect if there is any instance in the object which is pointing to the same entry then we have to break the circuit and we have to return the object which is not a circular so let's create a circular object over here just for example so i am creating a list which is representing a link list and here we will have value so this will be the value that we receive and then we have a pointer which points to the next object so initially we keep it as null now let's create three list out of this so let's say const list one equals to new list and the value is 10 similarly 20 and 30 and these two list 2 and list 3 so list 1 dot next so list 1 is pointing to list 2 list 2 dot next is list 3 so list 2 is pointing to list 3 and then list 3 points back to list 1 so here we have a circular object now if i print this right through json.stringify so json.stringify is used to convert a object to json string so let's say if i do json.stringify and i pass list one to it and if i run this you'll see that we'll get an error saying that the list is circular and we cannot form a string from this so converting circular structure to json so it's not possible so all we have to do is we have to break the circuit so there are three steps to so in this chain right there are three ways we can break the circuit either make list one point to null so list two and list three will point or make list two to point null or list three null so any of this value can point to the null and it will break the chain so let's comment this out and let's create a function that will remove the circle so let's say remove circle and creating a function this will accept an object as an input now to remove an object right we have to determine that if any of these has already appeared or not so we'll iterate this entry point and in the iteration we'll check if any of this has already appeared or not if it has already appeared then we can break the cycle so for this i'm going to use weak set now weak set is similar to set but it is only used to store the value of objects in javascript and to this i will pass the original object as an array so this will convert it to the iterable and in the weak set we will get the entry for each of these three list so you will see list 1 list 2 and list 3 already present in the weak set now all we have to do is we have to iterate the input object and we have to check if there is if the current object is appearing in the weak set or not so for this because an object right here we have two properties there can be more than two properties to the object so i'm creating a recursive function to detect and remove the list so let's say function helper this will be the helper function to detect and to this we will pass a object so this will receive a object and let iterate the object so using the foreign loop i'm iterating the object now the first thing we have to check is we don't do the testing in the prototype chain because in the javascript right as you may be aware 
we can extend the object and we can add new properties to the prototype chain so all we want to do is we want to test its current properties only the properties that function own that not the properties that are extended by it so if object that has own property so if the current key is the own property of the object it's not present in the prototype chain so we'll get then we'll check if the value so the value is object or not to break the circuit we have to either point the object to null or we have to delete that entry so if only if the current value for the key is object then only we have to remove that so if object key so if type of object key equals to object then only we have to remove the circuit now all we have to do is we have to test if this value is present in the weak set or not if it is present we have to break the circuit so if store dot has object key you can set object key to either null or you can delete object key either one will work so i am just setting it to null otherwise what we do is we add the entry in the weak set so let's say store dot add object key now we don't have to do this usually in this case because we are already storing the all, all the entries while we are initializing the remove circle so here rather than adding this right we can remove the else class and we can break the loop otherwise if we have to check for the other chains right so we will add the entry in the object let's say there is new property here apart from null so this dot abc and that too is pointing so for the safer side rather than breaking the loop we will make the entry in the object and what we will say is recursively check for that object too so recursively call the same function now let's see if it is able to remove the circle or not so to this i am passing item 1 and if i console log item 1 rather than being a infinite circle it should be a broken loop so let's run this sorry not item 1 it's list 1 my bad not breaking my bad it's not breaking because we have created this helper function but we haven't invoked it so let's call it at the end with the entry so that it get initialized at least once so now if i run this you will see the broken loop so here if you see 10 is pointing to 20 and 20 is pointing to 30. Now just to be extra sure, let's run this through json.stringify also and see if things are working properly or not. So yeah, it's working. We are no more getting the error. Now the final thing. So this is one way you can do. Another way to implement this is, so let's comment this. This is a custom function. The json.stringify method, right, it also accepts a function where we can do the processing to remove any, um, so we, where we can do the necessary processing. So in that function also, we can remove the list. So all we do is we'll create a closure using the weak set. So let's say function circle remover. So this will be passed to the next parameter over here so like this 
now we are passing this as a invoke function because we are forming a closure and this will return another function so here the function that is passed to the stringifier gives a key and value for the current object so in this we'll check and here we'll create the weak set so const store is equal to new weak set now here because i'm not aware about the object right i'm not passing anything rather we are making an assumption so if the type of value is object and value is not null so we are making an extra check if value is not null then if store dot has value so if the object is already present then we have to return nothing we just break the loop else we say store dot add value so we store that entry and finally we say return value so these two will remove the circular so now if you see i have commented the existing function and if i run this i am passing item list one to it and the helper function so if i run this you see things are working fine so value 10 value 20 and then value 30 we are not getting this next as null in the stringify so here we can add this null and check if the null is passed or not so yeah it's being passed so depending upon how you create your function you can do the processing in the stringify method as well i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time